All right, guys, I'm going to run through how to nest parts quickly in Rhino. Um, so this is just a test file. And what we're starting out with is our 3D geometry. This is how we're typically going to give parts to you. So I think this makes the most sense. So these parts should all have a name attached to them under the object properties in the top right corner. So each part has a unique name. If the parts are duplicates, they have the same name. So if I grab these four parts, you'll see they all share a name. If I grab parts that don't have the same name, you'll see it says varies. Okay, but it's super important that the parts come with a name. So the first step is going to be to lay the parts flat. So using the Rhino Gadget plugin, we're going to run this command right here, orient by flat face XY plane. So I'm going to right click this. Okay. And it's going to ask me for spacing. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave it at one and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so this first step just lays all the parts flat, right? So now you're going to open up Grasshopper and you're going to open the file which I'm going to send you. So open document and it's this file right here, open nest poly surfaces with names, right? So I'm going to double click that. This will always be the same no matter what you're nesting. This is basically the algorithm that nests everything. And there's only two inputs, right? There's the sheets, which is your 4x8 or 5x8, whatever sheet size you're using. And then there's the actual geometry, which is right here. So it's two, these two inputs, okay? So we're gonna start by loading up the sheets. So to do that, I'm gonna right click curve, and I'm gonna say set multiple curves. It's gonna bring me back into Rhino. So I already have my sheets laid out. You want to have more sheets than necessary. You don't want to have fewer sheets, but having more sheets is not an issue. So going from left to right, I'm going to select these sheets. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. So this can bring me back into Grasshopper. And now I'm going to load up the parts we want to nest. So I'm going to right click B rep where it says B rep, set multiple B reps and I don't have to do it sequentially, I can just grab the parts and hit enter. So it's going to take a second, it's processing. Okay, so once everything's grayed out, that means that it successfully loaded everything. So I'm going to minimize the grasshopper screen, and as you can see, it's nested the parts. Now you can mess around with the settings in grasshopper, I'll load Grasshopper back up. It's just sitting there in the background, right? And you can mess with, you know, the spacing between parts. Right now I have it at half an inch. You can mess with the number of rotations. This matters more when parts are not rectilinear, like if you have big curved surfaces. Iterations and seed, these two, these are, you just need to play around with them, see what results it gives you. But I'm not gonna get into that now. Okay, so this, this is the basic setup, okay? Uh, now, you can see these parts are red and they're not selectable. That's because they live inside of Grasshopper. So to bring them into Rhino, I'm going to open Grasshopper up and I'm going to hit this bake button right here. Okay. So once I do that, you can see now there's poly surfaces. And you'll notice these poly surfaces still have their names. They've kept their names with them, right? And that's important because now we want to put labels on everything. So I'm just going to hide everything else and I'm going to turn off the layer that has the sheets on it just so they're not in the way. Now I'm going to select the parts I want to label and I'm going to type in the command line run python script and I'm going to run this script right here add name layer group obj. I'm going to send this python script to you as well. So what this does is it takes the name of the part and it makes a dot out of it and it groups it with the part. So now, once we have the dots, I can say cell dot, select dot, hit enter, and under the drafting tab up here, under this dot, click the drop down, and we want to run this command, convert dots to text, okay? I have some options up here, delete input, no, output point, no, I want to click that and select text. Text height, um, I'll make it 0.75 for now, and I'll hit enter. Okay, so if I zoom in, you can see it turned those dots into text. 
So I'm just going to do a couple of things to clean things up here. I'm going to say cell dot again. So I'm selecting all the dots and I'm going to put them on the dot layer right here. And I'm going to turn that layer off. And now I'm going to say cell text. It's going to grab all the text and I'm going to put that on the engraved text layer. All right. And with these still selected, I can go under properties here and under style, I can click the drop down and select the single line font. Right. So this is obviously a lot faster to cut in the CNC. Now these, these uh, labels are not oriented correctly right now. You'll have to run the box edit command and rotate 90 degrees um, like that, basically. That's one option. Um, you can do it manually as well, but yeah, that's just something you can figure out further down the line. And obviously the next step here is, you know, dupe face border, that command, you want to select the faces, you know, whatever, right click, project to C plane, and you can, with them still selected, put them on you know, profile outside. Okay, so that's basically just a rundown of how to, um, how to get the parts nested quickly, right? So now I'm going to show you how to actually get all these things to work because there's a couple plugins you need to install. So I'm going to open up my browser and there's three plugins you need, which are pretty simple to install. The first one is open nest. Okay. So you want to scroll down and you want to just click install in Rhino eight. So what that'll do is it'll open up the package manager and I already have it installed. Um, let me see right here what I have installed. Well, basically, yeah, you just want to click install and that'll automatically load that. The next plugin you're going to need is this plugin Elefront. This handles the, um, the labels, basically. So again, scroll to the bottom and whichever version you're using, pick it. So I have Rhino 8. Again, install, open Rhino 8 and it'll open the package manager again but it's already installed for me so you know you'd want to click install and the last plugin is rhino gadget now this was the command that laid everything flat initially this does not operate through grasshopper the other two plugins work through grasshopper so again just go scroll down hit install same deal and i will also be sending you that python script you just want to put your Python script into a folder, you know, correctly labeled, uh, just somewhere on your desktop. Okay, that's it.